So let's zoom out a little bit and talk about uh, COEs more broadly for automation and analytics. Um, from what you've described, I would sort of place what you're doing all the way on the, the far end of maturity in terms of how COEs think about things and process and all of that. Um, I noticed that you were at Intelligent Automation Week about a month ago, and so I'm I'm wondering what you're seeing lately in terms of how you think about maturity, how other companies are thinking about maturity, and like if you're you know three standard deviations away from the mean in terms of maturity, where would you put the rest of the you know the rest of this vertical? If we were to refer, let's say, to purely automation maturity, yeah. Okay, if we are referring to automation maturity, I think um, there has been a great evolution since the last two years, to be honest. Everybody is growing towards that space where governance procedures, um, delivery methodologies are in place, and they have a clear vision on what they want to achieve throughout, let's say, one year, two years, three years um, terms, and that's very important. One thing that is very important, and I realized it's happening more and more, is the idea of diversity. Um, yeah. Everybody is realizing that there is not one solution that fits every problem that they're going to have, and that there is not one technology that's going to be only for their particular industry. So people are diversifying in terms of the tools that they are going to use uh, for the challenges that they are trying to resolve. So well, let's say five years back, we had three main RPA vendors and everybody was using them. Right yep. now you have such a wide pool of tools um, based on what you are trying to achieve that is actually much, much easier to pick them up, put them inside of your COE, see how they integrate and then do a strategy around them and see exactly how you're going to scale them up or how they are going to evolve throughout time. This is something that is very visible right now. And I think it's very good because it gives us as COE leaders a lot of um, flexibility on what we are trying yeah. to do. Um, otherwise, we would have been limited to a few options and that's not necessarily the best way to move forward with these technologies. Yeah, absolutely.